Hello friends. Welcome back to the S3 Cloud Hub channel. So in the previous session, we built a Java Maven project using GitLab. Now in this tutorial, we are going to build a Node.js project using GitLab CCD. So without any further ado, let's get start the session. So guys as in our previous video, where we have created the Maven project, here again we will work with the shared runner, not the specific one. In this session we are going to create two stages, one is build, and another one is, build docker image. And then we run two jobs under these stages, one is build node.js app, second one will be build docker image. So here we need to specify two images in our GitLab CI.yml file. One is for node, which is node 12.13.0 alpine. And second one is for docker, which includes docker binary. Now let's see our project. So as you can see, I am on my project. Don't worry, I will put the project link in the description. So first we need to create a new repository, then install Node.js, and then in the repository we have to add two new file, first package.json, and server.js. In the package.json there are project dependency. So as you can see, I have mentioned name, version, description, author, and main which is server.js, then script, and the dependency. And second is server.js. So in server.js file, you can see here, the port, host, and then here it will print or it will send respond this string, like hello world. Now let's look at our GitLab c.yml file. So here as you can see, we have specified two stages, one is build, and second one is build docker image. Then we have created first job, build node.js app. Now here we have specify the image, node alpine image. So it will install it, and will run the npm command. And here we have specify the path. Then we have created the second job, name build docker image. Here we have specify the image and also script, which includes the docker library. If we do not specify then it will throw an error like docker command is not found. Then we have specify the stage. And in last it will run docker info command. So it will display system wide information regarding the docker installation. So let me copy this. Now here. Let's create a new file. And file is going to be .gitlab -c .yml file. Again here you can use these template but in our case we are not going to use. So let's pass it here. Okay, so there are different jobs and stages, now let's commit that. So let's go and commit. So once you commit, then you should have pipeline started. Yes, you can see, the pipeline is running, so you can just click on it. And here let's check, so click on Buid Node.js app. So here you can see, pulling Docker image that we specified. Then here you can see it runs npm install. Now let's go to pipeline again. And you can see our pipeline is now passed. So let's see. Let's click on build docker image now. So here you can see. It is pulling docker image gitlab slash din that we have specified. Then it runs the docker info. And it gives us the information regarding installation. So we can see there are zero container. Zero images server version and all. So we have successfully passed our pipeline. I hope you all are clear with this. So guys, that's it for this video, I hope you liked it. I will see you in the next lecture. If you have any question or any doubt, feel free to ask in the comment section below, I will answer you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Bye and have a nice day.